All right, so here, um, left off on cleaning up the rig, making sure that everything that wasn't being uh, of any use, like the um, on the shoulder here, translate scale and visibility, we locked and hid that. Uh, also added the controls on the uh, head control, and everything is ready to go, and we're ready to bind the mesh to the skeleton and the rig. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of our meshes. If you only have one, that's fine. You just select the one mesh. I have a few here, so I'm going to select multiple meshes. And I'm not going to select the eyes because they're parented to uh, the joint back here in the back of the skull. And I've got these all highlighted. And now I'm going to shift select my skeleton here at the root joint. Now, what we can do to bind this, go into your rigging tab here, go to skin, and bind skin. And now, the rig should be working. Yep. So now the, the actual rig controls the mesh. Um, one of the uh, first things that's really good to check is to make sure that uh, grab it, grab your global control, select it, and just run a scale and make sure that it scales evenly. Um, if that works fine, your rig pretty much will work totally fine. Um, so that's always a good test. Um, and then painting weights on here um, can be slightly tricky, but for the most part, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, and what you do is just pose at your character and get it to sort of look how you want and the bind by default does a pretty decent job right off the bat um, but you definitely need to go in there and fix up the weird spots so um, the face here gets all wonky and warped um, and things like that so I'll start with just doing the face and Go to your skin, paint skin weights tool, and make sure you have the joints open. And I'm going to have my joint four here sort of control the entire face. Um, fully painted is uh, entirely white. Entirely black is not having any skin weights at all. Um, this is how you go ahead and and fill those areas in. Um, holding control uh, will get rid of skin weights um, and hold it and just clicking on the face will or in on anywhere on your mesh will paint the skin weights on. Um, you can adjust the opacity so if I bring it down to like a 0.3 you'll see it's much softer. Um, and then the smooth tool is always good because it'll smooth out those uh, it basically averages the weights on the verts uh, where the brush is being selected on. Um, other than that, besides actually just changing the poses, um, painting the weights, that's how you go about doing all of that. And you'll see that it's actually um, working really well. So I can move his eyes around so they don't look like they're in the back of his head, just so you can see. And tell that his face isn't being like uh, almost melted off um, so now his face is uh, very well skinned around the skull um, that's all there is for just binding the mesh uh, a quick over overview of how to use um, the uh, paint skin weights tool it's been gone over before uh, I just ha felt it was best to um, go over right after cleaning up the rig on that last part uh, one more time demonstrate how to bind and quickly uh, get started on painting the skin weights um, once the skin weights are painted we'll get into animating it and uh, 
yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.